This morning here at home, we are learning more about new research on the impacts that PFAS can have on local water sources. At a meeting last night on the West Plains, local experts shared their findings of their research. Crime 2's Brandon T. Jones has been taking a closer look at that research for us. He's in the newsroom to break it down for us. So, Brandon, what else happened at that meeting? Good morning. Yeah, good morning, Tim. Well, these types of conversations have been going on for years at this point. Back in 2017, the city of Airway Heights had to disconnect from the aquifer and start paying for water from a different source because PFAS chemicals are considered permanent. And before we go any further, I want to go ahead and take a look at this map back here, actually, because you can see over here that there's plenty of areas impacted. All these red dots over here, this is a map of the West Plains, so the city of Airway Heights out there by Fairchild Air Force Base as well. All these red dots are areas that could be potentially impacted by PFAS chemicals. And for decades, firefighting foam containing PFAS was used out at Fairchild Air Force Base and the Spokane Airport. Those chemicals contaminated the groundwater and now hundreds of families who live on the West Plains have questions about health impacts. Testing for the chemicals can be expensive, so meetings like the one last night are to help residents figure out resources to help them with that process. The groundwater flow out here is not great for storing water. It's a, they unfortunately are great paths for, for disseminating contamination. Several other meetings and events discussing PFAS impacts will take place in February. You can find more information on westplainswater.org. The water, West Plains Water Coalition also has more information and resources available on their website. Live in the newsroom, I'm Brandon T. Jones.